back on with the next one. Let's get our hands together, please. Come on, let's get our hands working. I've just moved to Trin because I got divorced. Um, like, oh, I do, I do, I do, I do. And, and uh, yeah, my wife left me for someone else. Um, does anybody else wish their wife would leave them for someone else? <laughs> no, I'm glad I'm not alone. Uh, although, actually, I am alone uh, every night. Uh, in my damp, depressing bed sit. Uh, I mean, I'm stuck in a sort of strange emotional cycle of uncontrollable weeping and vigorous wanking. Um, and uh, one minute I'm wiping tears from my eyes. The next, the next, it's come off the curtain. Um, but don't tell my landlady. Uh, but I did, I, did, uh, I did try doing it both at the same time, which apparently is called cranking. So <laughs> Um, but, but being a man, I can't multitask, so I've had to, I've had to stop crying. Um, I did, I, we were married for 20 years, we were married for 20 years, and I thought we had absolutely everything. We had the nice uh, house in the country, we had nice cars, we had three holidays a year. Uh, I really don't understand why the, why the marriage failed. Um, and she, my wife had absolutely everything she could ever want including somebody else's penis inside. <laughs> um, but, but it's... Uh, but I, got a good, I got a good... I thank you for your sympathy. Uh, I got a good... I did get a good financial settlement. I got four-fifths of fuck all. Um, I asked... I, I, she did offer me three-fifths, but I had a good lawyer. Um, but it's weird, isn't it? It's weird how... On the first day of our marriage, we took a vow in church in front of the, the Lord, His Highness the Lord, uh, to, and we agreed to share absolutely everything. Yet on the last day, in front of a judge, she took the fucking law. <laughs> and and uh, I had to check the marriage certificate. I think I married Ronnie Biggs. <laughs> so anyway, look, it's not, it's not all about the money, is it? It's not all about the money. Yes, she took the pension fund. Yes, she took the trust fund. My life savings. My right testicle. Um, uh, but uh, is she happy? Is she happy, I hear you ask. Yes. Well, let me tell you, I've checked her status on Facebook. And in the pictures of her on the beach in the Bahamas, she looks a little miserable. So, who's the loser there? But uh, it's not all bad news, it's not all bad news. I have actually started dating again. Which is, uh, which is kind of cool. Unlike the uh, rash I've picked up, which burns like hell. Um, but I'm a little bit, I am a little bit rusty, a little bit rusty. The last time I was into casual dating, a successful date was fingering a schoolgirl behind the bike chair. Um, no, I need to point out, I was a schoolboy. I'm, I'm not a suspect in Operation U Tree. Um, but uh, it's a lot easier now dating with the internet, with internet dating, or, or internet lying. Because like uh, nobody tells the truth in their profile pictures. You know, somebody would say, 49, obviously got a bus pass. <laughs> a bubbly personality, a rampant alcoholic. <laughs> uh, likes outdoor pursuits, doggy. <laughs> Now, I've actually, I have actually been on a few dates, but I was struggling to convert 
the pina coladas, the scampion chips, and four bottles of Lambrini into a shag. <laughs> um, I am that shallow. Uh, so I had to go to one of those more casual dating sites, um, where, and when I say casual, I don't mean pastel polo shirts and chinos. I mean fuckbuddy.com. <laughs> Now on fuckbuddy.com, the, the profile pictures are a little bit more, well, they don't need much for the imagination, okay? Whereas on the normal dating sites, it's all soft focus studio shots and holiday snaps. On fuckbuddy, it's a little bit more biological. It's, it's a little bit more vagina without the monologue. <laughs> And, but the weird thing is, what if you do go on a date with a girl because she's got nice, a nice family in the photos, okay? So what do you say to her when you meet her the first time? What would you say? You'd say, oh, hello, lovely to meet you. I do like your hair colour. I like the way it matches. Um, and I, I see you're into sports. Uh, do you like anything else other than ping pong? <laughs> but these girls as well, these girls, they do like talking about sex. They're not shy about talking sex on a first date. Um, one girl, first two minutes, she told me she had a massive dildo at home, okay, and she puts it in the dishwasher. I said, try sticking it up your fanny or smudging it. That's it for me, thank you very much.